Next, we'll take an overview of our top level menus by selecting the home key. From here, we can select dashboard. Dashboard gives us a quick overview of our current set points and our current measurements. The set points are listed along the top, voltage, current, frequency, and voltage range. Along the bottom are voltage measurements, current measurement, frequency measurement, and power. Next, we're going to go back to the home screen. Next up on our list of menu is output program. Selecting output program allows us to select our output parameters, starting with voltage, current, voltage range, frequency, DC offset, and AC plus DC mode. Selecting the right arrow takes us to over voltage programming, phase angle programming, waveform selection, and regulation mode. We'll go back to our home level menu. Next up is measurements. By selecting measurements, we're presented with a list of measurements that we can make. We can make power factor, watt hour, voltage distortion, press factor, current harmonic distortion, harmonics, going to the left, we have a group measurements, frequency, power, voltage, current, and phase angle. Going to the full right, we can do a trace capture and set what our default measurements are. Going back to our home menu, next up on our list to the right, we can select transients. Transients allow us to set the settings, view the existing transients, and run any of the transients that have been created. Going back to our home menu. Next up on our list is the configuration menu. Selecting the configuration menu allows us to determine whether we're going to use internal or external sense, set up user profiles, select clock mode, select the power on user settings, and select user hard limits for voltage and for frequency. Selecting the right menu allows us to set our default screen timeout and our reactive load parameter. Going back to the holding screen. Next up is our selection for control interface. Selecting control interface allows us to set GPIB address, RS-232 parameters, LAN parameters, as well as analog selection for setting our analog programming. Our behavior for remote inhibit is also selected from this screen. Going back to the home screen. Next off to the right, we have applications. Next, we have system settings. From system settings, we can select firmware version, language, LCD, options, and hardware limits. We'll select firmware version. Firmware version gives the manufacturer's name, full model number, serial number, as well as the firmware versions installed. Going back to the previous screen, from here, we can select language. By selecting language, we can select one of the list of languages. Going back to the previous screen, we can select LCD. Selecting LCD allows us to set the brightness for the LCD as well as to perform a calibration for the touch screen. Going back to the previous menu, we can select options. Option gives us a list of all installed options in the machine. You can scroll to the right through the list. NA means the option is not installed. Going back to the previous menu, we can select the hardware limits. These are the absolute maximum limits for hardware for voltage, current, frequency, minimum frequency, minimum voltage, maximum frequency, voltage range, and phase angles. This is the dashboard and menu overview for the AST-1501 in the Asterian series, brought to you by Amatech Programmable Power.